Good morning, men and women of God. This is Paula Arsenault Ware reporting live from Houston, Texas today. I was reviewing my notes last night from 2016 and I realized that God gave me a call of duty in 2016. So I am being obedient to the call. I am going to speak with you about the goodness and greatness of God. I want to be an encourager today for you to trust God by spiking your faith. The word of God says in Matthew, my faith can move mountains. So today let's speak to the mountains in our life and praise God for moving those mountains because we believe his word. When someone says stand on his word, that means be firm. Don't waver. Don't be lukewarm. Don't say, eh, maybe. I don't know if God can do it. Well, I heard about it. No, let's be about it today. Today, God is saying, stand still and stand firm so that we can move these mountains in your life. So I am going to pray in the spirit of God. I am going to thank the living God. Thank him for Jesus, his life, death, and resurrection. Thank him for being Abba, Daddy, Father God, like no other. And thank him for the Holy Spirit, our comforter and our guide. I am traveling, so I may not look at you, but just know my eye is where it needs to be. And God shall guide me. He shall drive my car and protect me as I go in the spirit to fight and war with you against the mountains in our life that are not from God. So on this beautiful day, this beautiful day that the Lord has made, let's rejoice and be glad in it. Thus says the Lord. That's his word. That is his word. That is not my word, but I believe it and I receive it in the name of Jesus. So we're going to speak to these mountains that need to be moved by our faith. So your faith means you have to trust God. So if you can find a mustard seed, if anyone has ever seen a mustard seed, that's a tiny, tiny little seed. And God says, that's all I need. But if I can bring something bigger than a mustard seed, can you imagine what size mountains you can move on today? So once we move these mountains, I want you to remember, don't pick that mountain rock back up and try to rebuild that mountain. That mountain will come down today because we're believing God can do it. So in the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of the devil, his plots, plans, schemes, tricks, strategies to destroy, to lie, to deceive, and break us down in the spirit realm. I bind the spirit of the devil because God's word in Matthew 18 and 18 says that I can do that. I have the authority. He has given me access to the heavenly realms according to his word. His word says in Matthew 18 and 18 that whatever I bind on earth shall be bound. Where? In heaven. And whatever I loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Hallelujah. So I come to bind the spirit spirit of the python, the destroying spirit, the Apollyon spirit, the incubus and succubus spirit. I come against the legion spirit, hallelujah, that is not of God. I come against the spirit of infirmity. I come against the spirit of error. I come against the spirit of lack and poverty and debt. I come against the spirit of pride and haughtiness, Lord God. I come against an arrogant spirit. Hallelujah. I come against the spirit of infirmity. Hallelujah. I come against any spirit that brings sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. I bind it up and cast it to the pits of hell. All ungodly spirits, all unclean spirits. I come against the spirit of false prophecy, false teaching, false preaching false doctrine in the name of Jesus. I come against the cult and occult spirits in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirits, Lord God, that lead us into adultery. Hallelujah. Fornication, Lord God. Masturbation. 
homosexuality, Lord God, lesbianism, Lord God, bisexual relationships, Lord God, marital affairs in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of pornography in the name of Jesus. Oh, and I bind the spirit of the witch and the warlock. Hallelujah. Because I come against the spirit of witchcraft, Father God, sorcery, soothsayers, palm readers, horoscopes astrologers lord god who try to predict the future without godly intent in the name of jesus hallelujah i bind any spirit lord god that comes to attack us in midday and in the nighttime lord god your word says father that a thousand may fall by my side and ten thousand at my right hand but no harm shall come near my tent so i thank you lord that my tent is protected hallelujah and i bind any spirit that may try to attack my tent in the name of jesus i come against the spirit of addiction lord god of any form to anything that is not godly in the name of jesus hallelujah lord god i thank you father god that we can come against the spirits that are trying to attack our meals, our food, our drink, Lord God, that we will be conscious, Lord God, of what we put into our temple in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that you let me bind the canker worm, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that we can bind any spirit that comes against our financial situation, Lord God. That you, Lord, say that we can live life abundantly above more than we could ever imagine, Lord God. That's your word, not my word, Lord. So I call your word to come forth, Lord God, to loose the spirit of Jesus, to loose the Holy Spirit, to loose the living word, to loose the spirit of God. Hallelujah. The spirit of adoption, the spirit of healing, the spirit of praise and worship, Lord God, the spirit of prophecy. Hallelujah. The fruit of the spirit. Yes, God, I thank you for loosing the spirit of gifts in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I thank you for loosing, Lord God, your anointing on the people, Lord, who can hear the sound of my voice. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that I decree and declare on this day that the mountains that have stood in our way for one day, one year, one month, Lord God, are 10 years, 10 days, 10 months. In the name of Jesus, I call those mountains destroyed. They are moved by the name of Jesus, the only name that can move those mountains, that can destroy those mountains, so that you can go forth and be the woman of God or man of God that you have been called to be for God's kingdom on earth. May God bless you like you've never been blessed before. May you prosper in health and wealth like never before. May your meal barrel overflow with blessings and anointing like never before. I love you all and I pray that today is a day like no other that you shall go forth and move the mountains in your life. Hallelujah. I love you all. Have a great day.